I, I think it went very well, truly. Um, anytime you come off of a run of the Sweet 16, uh, that many seniors, kind of two senior classes combined because of COVID, and you have that much turnover in your roster, uh, we had lost 27 members of the team from the year prior to this year. Um, and you add all the new players that come in and the guys who were there probably are in a little different roles in terms of leadership and positions and stuff like that. Uh, I think they did very well. I, I was really proud of them. I think the mentality has changed. I, I don't think they're very happy with the season. Uh, I kind of had to remind them in our year end of all the things they accomplished um, because I think they're at the point now where they have very realistic high goals that they're working for every day. Um, I'm, I'm proud that they want more and they're not satisfied, but they also need to be proud of their accomplishments. And that's something I'm trying to remind them of, but truthfully, uh, I knew it was going to be a tough year in terms of transition. I wasn't concerned about the talent. I knew we had that, but that's a lot of guys to lose and a lot of guys to add and making that work and mesh. And, um, on top of it, playing a new system that we had never played in my 21 years, we had to introduce mm -hmm. that from and build it from the ground up. Uh, but we were confident in, in the boys and, and their talent, and we knew they had it in them. So if I'm being honest with you, I think we're way farther ahead than I than I probably originally anticip anticipated or thought we would be um, based on just all the criteria I just listed, the, the variables mm -hmm. in the equation. Did you – I mean, were you expecting – I don't want to say a down year because down year for you guys is is – you know, every, some other programs success, right? Like what did you, were you expecting somewhat of a down year because of last year? I mean, tw I know you guys carry a big roster, so mm -hmm. 27 isn't your entire roster. Um, so, uh, but were you expecting it to be a lot tougher than it turned out to be? I was not expecting a down year. I was expecting a much larger learning cr curve mm -hmm. and, just thought it would take a lot longer for things to click if that makes any mm -hmm. sense and yeah. it's a credit to the players i think they they knew the task in front of them i think they knew there was a, a pretty new team and that they had to really buy into the learning aspect of it especially when you're installing a, a new system like that and they they truly passed with fly, flying colors so um i think like i said we're very ahead of, of where where i thought we would be you know you know getting towards the end of that year and, and that kind of turnover and the future is very bright. You know, we were a very young squad last year. I, I think I'm probably going to mess this up. This is on memory. I think we started when everyone was healthy, two freshmen, eight sophomores, and one fifth year, something or one senior, something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, so, again, just on paper, that's pretty young. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think uh, the guys did really well. Future is bright, and, and they're very mm -hmm. excited to get back on the field.